Hello everyone. So really want to give a big praise to Costco Optical because I have finally found two pairs of glasses that actually is quite accurate when it comes to fit um, and finish. Okay, so I am going to just quickly compare the two pairs of the glasses that I got. Uh, granted, they are the exact same frame. I got a polarized version and I got a regular single vi single vision um, high index option, okay? And also I'm gonna talk about the cost of those glasses and frames with the VSP insurance, okay? So um, the reason I went to Costco Optical to, go, to get those pair of glasses, again, first thing first, we have Costco membership. And if you've viewed uh, my previous videos, you, you can find out that I'm a big Costco fan. A lot of stuff they sell very good quality for very good price, okay? And uh, those glass frames are no exception as well. So I want to first show you guys a pair of glasses that I got. So uh, when I got my prescription from my eye doctor, I went online. Uh, I found a place that does um, glass, um, you know, they install the glasses based on your own frames provided. And this frame, um, Again, it's a knockoff Chrome Heart frame, which looks pretty cool. And I use this frame at that website. Um, I paid quite a premium, $180, for just the glasses and the installation of the glasses uh, based on my prescription. This is the transition. Um, I think it's called the transition ultimate or whatever, the, the latest generation of the lens. So this transition is multi-coated as evident from the colored, uh, like the green tint on the lens and also it is um it changes when you go outside and the the glass detects the ultraviolet uv light it becomes dark so the concept is pretty nice and uh the prescription when they did it and when i got back it's um it's quite off so i have very high astigmatism uh, on my left eye and um, at the very first i wore this glasses for a few weeks and i got really dizzy um, so I went back to them. I said, can you redo it? Make sure the prescription is correct. Make sure you do it based on the pres prescription. And they did take my frame back and then they redid it and they sent it back to me. Uh, it's still off. So I, I would not, I would not again, go to any online website to get my prescriptions because it's just uh, too unreliable if you have fairly high, you know, prescription. So I have very high uh, myopic, uh, my axis, I think it's minus five. Um, and my, sorry, my sphere is, is minus five and my axis is minus 2.5 or 2.7 on my left eye. So definitely quite high. And uh, which requires, and also another thing is uh, when you do those glasses online, they don't do, they don't measure your pupil diameters um, you have to measure your own pupil diameter using some sort of app, which for the most part is quite inaccurate. Um, so the reason I went to Costco is because they have an optical department and their glass frame options are actually quite good. So I got my vision checked at a place in the United States called Vision Works, which is like a premium uh, glass glassware provider and they also have a eye doctor on site. So I only went for the eye doctor service to check my vision. And when I finished with checking my vision, I went to browse on their glass options. So they had a, they had a few, um, they have some frames ranging from, you know, uh, I think $100 all the way up to $300. So those are the frame price. And they also have different options for, um, for single vision glasses. And again, we're only talking about single vision. Uh, for myopic uh, nearsightedness. Um, so I went in and I, I asked them to give me a quote based on the VSP insurance that I had with my company. They give me a quote for one pair of glasses with a frame that costs about $128. Um, the quote come back for $280 out of pocket. That is with the deduction from the VSP insurance, which provides, I think, up to $150 deduction on the insurance on the VSP. And my quote is out of pocket $280 for one pair 
single vision, not even, uh, not even, um, uh, how do you call it? High index. Okay, that's pretty hefty price. Actually, I'm sorry. It's actually with high index option, high index, multi coated, polycarbonate frame um, with polycarbonate glass, two hundred eight dollars one pair. Okay, so, and uh, I said, okay, what if I want a transition lens, which is you know this this option that changes color when you go outside. So they give me another quote for transition uh, that come out to I think five hundred dollars. It's crazy, right? I was like, I cannot afford a pair of glasses with you know transition for like five hundred dollars. That is just bizarre. The price you pay on a pair of glasses is just bizarre. And quite quite honestly, quite I mean, in my opinion, those glass frames at cost, it's at most thirty forty dollars. So, you know, they're making a killing on those um, glasses and the frame options. Anyway, so I was like, okay, let me think about it. So I left Vision Works and I came to Costco. I I went in. The the Costco salesperson, really really friendly, gives me all the options that they have um, on the um, on the polycarbonate options for single vision. So they have the regular one, which is not high index. And by the way, Costco high index is 1.6. It's not 1.67, which is the, the, the thinnest one, but it's all right. I mean, um, the only downside is if you look on the edge, the 1.6 for my prescription is still pretty thick. And if you go 1.67, uh, it's uh, it's slightly thinner on the edge. Okay, so that, that's the only difference. Um, so I think mainly for aesthetic reason. So if you, um, if you have a... Kind of fairly big and bold frame you know those 1.6 high index is not going to make much difference however in costco i went for a half frame option and uh, this is a frame made up japanese designer called saki s-a-k-i um i think this is kind of like a rebrand from a from a designer in in new york they came up with this um with this brand however i i, I did a research there's not much thing information coming out uh, coming up from the internet for this particular brand but either regardless they are a japanese brand and all the glass frames are actually made in japan so very high quality frames um and this this pair of frame that i got model number is kind of hard to see um it's called mod3 that mod.312 um i'm gonna post the model number actually on the screen so this is a titanium frame, extremely lightweight. And another plus side with titanium is that it does not corrode. So besides the lightweight, it does not corrode compared to polycarbonate frames, which in the long run, like everything starts to de deteriorate. And because your sweat is kind of acidic, so in the long run, the glass frames always just melts, melt down, like eventually after three, four years. Titanium, very corrosion resistant, so they should be reliable. They should last you quite a long time. You can probably even reuse those frames, um, you know, next time you're trying to get a new pair of glasses. However, in Costco, uh, they don't do reframing. They only do like new frames plus new glasses. So you probably have to buy a new pair if you want to go to Costco again. But again, uh, so go back to this. I picked this titanium frame from a designer called S-A-K-I, Saki. And they come with this kind of nice, very lightweight, soft, triangular um, glass uh, glass pouch. And also comes with a nice microfiber cloth. So now it's the most interesting part, the price. So I got those two pairs of glasses. One with high index, single vision, multi-coated, um, as you can see of the green color. This is a multi-coated one that's UV resistant and of course we, uh, increases light transmission. So this is a, a high index multi-coated single vision. This is a high index multi-coated on one side, as you can see over here on the back. So um, with polarized lens, you cannot have the front um, coated because uh, what they does is the front actually have a special coating, a polarized particle, or whatever, that's inside the front and the middle of the lens that works to block the to align the particles uh, or the reflection of the light so when you drive it's gonna block the unwanted light from the glare of the sun so the front of the polarized lens will never be coated um, just so you know but the back is actually coated 
uh, and I would assume this is a single coating because uh, multi-coating usually is a green color. A single coating is usually a purple color, but regardless, it's coated. So it does increase light transmission to a certain degree. But the polarized lens is, is quite essential if you drive in the sun, like in the morning time or during the uh, nighttime commute that you, you're driving against the sun. This lens is going to help greatly reducing the flare um, that's being reflected from the road and other driver's windows and some unwanted lights from any other light sources. So really important to get a polarized lens when you're driving, okay? All right, come to the price. With the VSP insurance, which provides up to $80 deduction on you know, one pair of glasses, I got both pairs with the VSP insurance with their current promotion, which is $40 of one pair of frame or one pair of glasses. So with a $120 off for two pairs of glasses, both high index and a titanium frame, the out of pocket cost uh, is $175. Okay, for two pairs of fairly high end, you know, glass options and titanium Japanese made handmade frames. And the price difference is bizarre. So um, I want to tell you guys, you know, next time if you have option to go to Costco Optical, definitely give them a, uh, give them a try. And the, the person inside are actually quite more helpful as well. And before you, you send those glasses out for, you know, for actual process, they also measure your pupil diameter, you know, personally measure your pupil diameter which is way better than using an app on your own, okay? So the pupil diameter is important for people like me who have very high myopic and also very high um, astigmatism. Um, that would ensure that your axis and your distance is correct so you don't get dizzy like when you have a glass that's returned with improper measurements of your pupil diameter and if they have the axis off, it's horrible. Like the glass is never gonna be comfortable to wear. That is why I highly recommend Costco Optical because their staff is quite knowledgeable. And the most amazing thing is the price difference on just one pair of glasses compared to, you know, I got freaking two pairs of glass, one polarized for only $175. At VisionWorks, I got quoted for one pair of the most basic glass for $280 with, with insurance and everything and $500 for a transition lens, which is crazy. Okay, so if you guys have any questions about Costco Optical, uh, do ask me uh, in the comments se section down below and I'll be happy to answer those questions. Um, otherwise, I hope you found my informational video helpful. Um, and if you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe to my channel. And one last thing before I go, at Costco, you have the option of getting your edge of the frames polished or not. Uh, for me, I personally like the look of unpolished frames, which gives a matte look. If you want the frames polished, it's an extra $10 charge, which you can get kind of a, um, I'll show you guys. So on this pair of frames, it's polished, but it's kind of hard to see. Um, the edge is very smooth and it's kind of reflective. So um, that's the difference. It might look cool for people who likes kind of a reflective look on the edge. You can have the frames polished. Otherwise, um, I go with unpolished option and that saves you $10 per pair of glasses, okay? So that's it. Thanks again and uh, see you in the next video.